Alright, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to put um, auto-tune into FL Studio 8. Uh, I have FL Studio 8 Producers Edition, but I don't really think it matters. Um, as long as you have, you know, FL Studio 8. But uh, we're going to go to the folder in which auto-tune uh, VTS plugin is located, which is... Um, Antares Audio Technologies and I'm going to click Auto Tune um, 5 VST. I said VTS earlier, so VST. Um, and right here you have your uh, file, it's a .dll file, and um, you're just going to copy that. And because uh, you want it to stay here in case something happens to where you lose it you want it to still be in this file you don't want to drag and drop because then it's going to take it from this one and you know put it in your other one so now that we have that copied we can just go back and um i'm going to find fl studio 8 which is under the image line folder this is all be being done in your uh your hard drive which is uh, minus c program files x86 and then image line that's where FL Studio 8 is right here and then um, right, right here where it says plugins you're going to double click that where it says VST double click that right click paste and since I already have it in there I'm just going to cancel but yeah it's going to paste it in there and then you're not done yet you're going to think you are but it's not going to show up in uh, Fruity Loops until you actually manually add it inside the program. Um, now that we have it open, I'm gonna let's see. I can just exit out of this. I'm gonna look at that later because I think I just figured out what's wrong with my uh, ACO for all driver. But anyway, you're gonna you're gonna click up here on your view mixer button right here. And then once this window right here that I'm dragging around pops up, you're going to um, click here. And then I think it's, you click more, yep. And then you click a refresh down here at the bottom. And then fast scan because it's recommended. Um, and since I've already done this, it's not going to show up any new ones. But you're going to go up to the top. And uh, actually not at the top right here VST plugins you're gonna look for that and then where it says auto tune you just make sure there's an F on it that way it's added to this exit out when you're done and then right here on this little drop down you can look for auto tune there it is now it pops up that's all you should have to do and um to get it to work you're gonna have to um get ACO for all. I'm gonna click uh, options, audio settings, and for your for your uh, sound driver, it's gonna show up ACO for all. Um, I'm gonna include a link on how to download that, and once you download it, it's gonna show up in here on this little drop down menu, and you just click that, and then click show ACO panel and you can select which audio inputs and outputs that uh, your um, plugins are going to use so right now I can choose let's see I'm going to have to mess around a little more but you choose your mic input up here and that's going to let you talk through auto tune and your output you have to select your speakers and that's going to allow you to hear it and yeah so that's it thanks for watching